no parts of us are good or bad or right or wrong. Everyone's got a place and a, you know, time and place for everyone and everything. That is how this works. So I like to think of it almost as like, so you have this part of you that like, you know, is a go-getter and is like a hard worker and all that stuff. And it really does get a lot of stuff done. It gets you friends, makes you money, gets you jobs, gets you cool stuff, gets you a cool house. It gets shit done and it's great for that reason. We don't have to demonize it. We don't have to pathologize it. We don't have to try to fix and solve and save and figure out what to do about it. It's great for a lot of things. The problem is that we have a tendency to just take it way too far. The accomplishment is not, is not a problem. The pride is not a problem. Getting shit done is not a problem. Being a force is not a problem. The problem is that we take this drug of accomplishment, 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 reward, 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 so much so that when our body is saying, hey, I'm tired, you're like, yeah, shut up though, I'm getting dopamine. And then your body is like, yeah, yeah, I'm, but I'm tired. And you're like, shh, dopamine. That's the problem. So that we end up completely disconnected from the body because we were high on our own supply. Been there. That's what the entire podcast with Nicole was about. Or not part of it, at least, was my own experience of going through weight loss. Reward, reward, reward. Dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. Had no connection at all to my own body the starving, malnourished, exhausted body that I was living in was sending me lots of signs. And I was in that place of, shh, don't you feel the dopamine? <laughs> That's the problem. So what we really want to be able to do is have a relationship with it where it's, we're going for the dopamine, we're getting our accomplishments, we're getting reward, we're getting our hits, we're doing great. And when the body says, hey, I'm tired, you say, oh, okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. I'm going to close up shop here today. Come take care of you. And that is listening to your body. <laughs> that is listening to your body. The, the real trick is knowing, knowing the things that give you that hit and just watching it, just being mindful of it. Because we are talking here about addictions that exist in that gray area. So exercise could be autopilot, dopamine, fear-based. Could also be out of love, listening to my body, not pushing it beyond where I should be going. But just because I'm exercising, we don't know what that is. Love, fear, dopamine, autopilot, who knows? You see a person exercising, you don't know what's going on or why they're doing that or how they feel or any of that. And this is exactly why last week and the week before, this is exactly what I said to Kate about drinking alcohol. Drinking alcohol feels good. Staying sober feels good. There's a difference in how they feel and to me, that's where we're talking about happy versus safe, right? Happy, dopamine, 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 dopamine. I'm getting everything done, right? But are you safe? No, you can check all the boxes in the world. You can get all the accomplishments and dopamine hits in the world. If your body says I'm tired and you can't hear it because you're so distracted by your accomplishment, you're unsafe. 